Podcast fans, I am incredibly excited to announce a brand new series where I'm going to be delving into the wild world of GCSE Maths. Now, I definitely cannot do this alone, and I'm going to need the help of a secondary school teacher. But fortunately, I know just the man, Mr. Bobby Siegel, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Siegel is ready for action. I am <laughs> but I couldn't be here without my co-host of the Mass Appeal podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Susan Okarigi! <laughs> <laughs> So. How are you? <laughs> so, um, in the session, we're going to be looking at volumes of regular shapes. But in order for us to look at volumes, we first can look at the thing that builds up volumes, two-dimensional shapes, the two D shapes. So, what's the sort of most recognisable two-dimensional shape that we know? Square. Square. Good. <laughs> so, all four sides are going to be there. Same. Yes. Yeah, so we've got a square there, a lovely square. Years of practice. There you go. <laughs> Not too square. Then after the square, if we extend that, what sort of similar 2D shape can we get? Rectangle? Exactly the one I was thinking of. Oh, okay. Could be an architect, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Rectangle, I'm putting it out Rectangle. <laughs> and after that, we have a shape that has three sides. Triangle. Triangle there. So we're going to go for an equilateral one here. Okay. What's an equilateral triangle? The, it's got all the sides are the same. Exactly, good. And then after that, we have a shape with many, 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 many sides. Oh, many sides or one side? Big oh. debate. I'm not going to get into a conversation. <laughs> <thing. laughs> I'm not going to get into any debates here, but. I'm, I'm in the many sides category. The many sides. So, Me too. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, so like, why is this many sides? Shape? Circle. Circle, good. Yeah. So we've got four two dimensional shapes. It's got the square, rectangle, triangle, circle. So, firstly, in order for us to get to volumes, we've got to build our foundations here. Oh. So the area of this shape, how do you guys have an area of that? All the sides are the same length, so you have one measurement, like one length. Yes. And so it's that length times that length. Perfect. Gives you the area. So we're just, if we call that the base times the height, even though they're technically the same, so base times the height, which actually this would be the base times the base, but we just call it base times the height. Yeah. Which would be the same. Now, the rectangle, what we do here to work out the area? The base and the height. Yeah, well. but this time it will be different. different yeah. yeah. So in this particular one, this is slightly different. Ooh. How, do, how do you work out the area of a triangle? So I think of a triangle as half of a square. Oh, I like that, half of a square. So the square is base times height. Mm -hmm. So a triangle is a half base, base times, height. times height. So it could be a half a rectangle too, though. No? So like, Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Now this one here is a bit funkier. Ooh, <laughs> funky. <laughs> yeah. Well, what's, the, what's the ratio that belongs here? What's, what sort of key ratio? Oh, is he talking about the special number? Yeah, special My number. second favourite number. Second favourite? Oh, second. I think we're going to have to stop filming <laughs> now. <laughs> second favourite. What's your, what's your favourite number? That would be E. Okay. Uh, that's the one on my arm. Okay, we'll like, accept. Like, oh okay. <laughs> okay, sure. We'll we accept that. So, what's your second favourite number? Second favourite is pi. Okay, yeah. good. So it's pi yeah. multiplied by? Radius squared. Good, so that's the area. So we've got the radius there. Yeah. So these are the four, I'd say, simple two-dimensional shapes. And we need these in order to build up to 3D shapes. So we've got, let's say, a triangle here, this one here. And that is a two-dimensional shape. Yeah. It's flat, um, and you can draw on a piece of paper but we want to work out the volume. But for volume, we need an object with depth. So we can get more triangles. Ooh. Come on, add them on. <laughs> can I join in? Yeah, you can join in as well. <laughs> Sharing is caring. Okay. I'm just gonna go all Ooh, in. All, all, all in, it's like a all casino. In, like, it is, just like it. <laughs> all in. Blue oh, you're all in, all in on the, all in on the triangle. Oh, oh, this is gosh. a, you know what? The How chips, can we go? okay. It's yeah, like Jenga. We're gonna roll the dice. Wonder who wins. Right. Right. So this is a triangle based prism. Yeah. And a prism is a shape that has the same, almost like I would say, 
the same two-dimensional shape all the way through. So imagine this is a slice of cheese. <laughs> Every, if, no, if I, do you like cheese? I love cheese. You love cheese? Yeah. So if I slice a bit of cheese in the middle, or the back, or the top, we'd all get the same slice. Yeah. So to work out the volume of this, what's the connection between this shape and this potential volume? So the, the area is the same. Yeah, we've got the same area. And then, like you said, because we've moved into three dimensions, we have that third measurement, so the height. Yes. Or the depth. Sorry, because we've got height here. So we have the, the area of the triangle times the depth. Exactly. So we've got a prism. And we are now going to move on to another recognisable, very recognisable three-dimensional shape. What's the, what's the most recognisable 3D shape? One of the most, arguably, perhaps. Well, based on yeah. this being our 2D <laughs> one, I'm going to guess the 3D version of the square. Okay. A.K.A. the cube. <laughs> So this looks a bit like perhaps a Tetris piece, but it's oh. not funky Tetris piece. <laughs> <laughs> so now, this, what would you call this? Like the back of a football? Net. Net! <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is a net, this is a net yeah. of a shape. And if we fold it back, oh. Oh, do you know why I might need some help here? It's like the crystal maze. Yeah. <laughs> we definitely get a crystal. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh we broke the top. Oh, oh, oh. You got this. You got this. Come to the rescue here. So there we saw a net of six squares yep. formed together to make a cube. So a cube, to work out the volume again, it's the area of the front section. Yes. What's the area of the front section here? Uh, base times height. Base times height, which is the same thing. Exactly. So just base squared or height squared, mm -hmm. yeah. and this time, what's the depth of this shape? So that's... That's another square. square yeah. Because yeah. we can oh, look yes, at so it. Oh, yes, it's the same, so it's the same length. Yeah, so it would be that base, base times the height, height, times it by the depth, but they're all the same. So it's just cube. So that is the basics of uh, volume. So as long as you have the area of the front section, the cross section, and we know the depth or the height of the shape, we can work at the volume of any prism. Thank you for teaching us all about volumes of 3D shapes, Bobby. Yeah, nice little <laughs> dance to go with the cardboard <laughs> box. Yeah. Amazing. So um, I've been inspired to, to sort of come up with a way to remember the formulas that you've taught us. So, but I want to start off with trying to remind ourselves what those are. So we looked at the cube. So I will attempt, perhaps in error, to draw a cube. Nice. Okay. So we have a cube, and we have, uh, we have the base, and we have the height, which is also equal to the base, and the depth, which is also the same as the base. So the volume is going to be the height times the base times the depth, but they're all the same, so you could think of this as just the base times the base times the base. For our cube. Or the biscuit base. Yeah. <laughs> Buttery biscuit base. There we go. <laughs> That's the way to remember it, but to be biscuit face. Um, <laughs> so then we have the cuboid. So if I draw, again, if I attempt to draw a cuboid, so you told us it was a rectangle, yes. and then you extend yes. the rectangle. Yes. Like, kind of like that. Nice. So what are going to be the three measurements on this one? So we've got a base again and a height. So we have a base and a height, yes, and they're going to be different this time. And then the depth. This is going to be base times height times depth. So we have three different measurements. So we have three of the same buttery biscuit base for our cube. <laughs> we have three different measurements for our cuboid. And then for the cylinder, um, what was the area for our cylinder? Oh, oh, is it big beans or...? <laughs> <laughs> so the circle area, we've got pi r squared. Pi r squared on the top, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the radius squared. Well, that's the radius. Yep. And then times by the depth. Let's well, call it the height. But yeah. The depth or the height. The yeah. other sort of yeah. direction yeah. where you're stretching the yeah. circle. Perfect. So let's call it the. Uh, let's call it the height. I think it's good. So pi r squared with the h. Now the way I remember these formulae is to think about my three favourite. Fictional chocolate bars. <laughs> these, these should be real chocolate bars. So, so we have the cube shaped. 
yeah. chocolate bar, which is called the chocolate cookie cube. All right, so we have mm, the chocolate. Delicious. It does, doesn't it? Make a so the chocolate cookie cube. Okay, right. And what we'll you'll hopefully notice, we have the same letter three times. Cool. C C C. So that reminds you that you just measure one edge of your cube, and your volume is three times C times C times C. So yeah, times by itself three times. Chocolate cookie cube. Yeah. Right. Delicious. The cuboid. We have three different measurements this time. So my favourite cuboid shaped fictional <laughs> chocolate bar. <laughs> this is a niche category. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is the the fruit and nut cuboid. Uh, Sounds quite healthy. Fruit and nut. Ooh, okay. oh, yeah. <laughs> a little bit apart from the yeah. Apart yeah. from the chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> The fruit and nut cuboid. Yeah. So you'll notice we now have three different letters uh, because there are three different measurements mm, from our shape chocolate. to get our volume. So the fruit and nut cuboid has three different numbers in it. Chocolate cookie cube has the one times by itself three times. Okay. And then finally, oh. the big one, the rum and raisin cylinder pie. <laughs> rum and raisin cylinder pie. So, can you explain to me why that is my favourite cylindrical shaped chocolate bar? We've got two R's. We have, we've got R and R, and what do they represent? R squared. So that's the radius, radius squared. squared. Isn't it? So we've got the radius squared. Then the cylinder, the C, represents the other dimension. The the, exactly. We have another different letter, which means another dimension, the height. And then pie is pie. And pie is pie. <laughs> <laughs> nom, 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 delicious. So rum and raisin, <laughs> cylinder yeah. pie. So okay. they are all equally great. I can't, you know, these are my three faves. I, yeah. can't, I can't give you an order of first, second, third. Yeah. But as well as being great fictional chocolate bars, <laughs> they are also a great way to remember the formulas for your volume. I think you should make these. <laughs> <laughs> Cadbury's, if you're watching. Yeah. No, I love the chocolate bakers. <laughs> I just want to thank you for your wonderful lesson on volumes of prisms and I was thinking about area and stuff, it was great um, and got me thinking after, like how do we bring that kind of to life and how can we play around with that? How can you turn the volume up? <laughs> <laughs> so found on GeoGebra a little um, kind of activity where we can look at um, the, the volumes of different shapes. So can you all see um, on your Joji bird, there are three shapes. What are the shapes have you got so far? They're in two dimensions. I'm seeing a triangle. <laughs> yeah, two rectangles. And two I rectangles. think they're both rectangles, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. right. With you on that. And so, what to find the volume and stuff? What do you did you say that we need to have? The cross sectional area, the, the two D shape. And then we stretch up. So what we need to do is before we look into like the two D area of that, can you just can you see there's a little H? If we look at the small rectangle. The little h that has that you can zoom up and can you see it grows into a cuboid? Did you see that? So what did you click on the Ooh, h? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so you kind of take the little the little black dot mm. and you slide. You could maybe zoom. yeah. There oh, you go. it's yeah. like a slider. You actually like you said you do exactly how you described it. You take your two D shape and you, you stretch it. Is that, okay. a, is that Minecraft? <laughs> it is. We are Mass working graph. with blocks. And <laughs> we are working with this. So to work out, so we like to think about our different heights. Um, what we like is telling us what the different volumes are. Mm. You are. But then a way you can also do this is to work out what the area is of that rectangle. And actually, the blue button at the side of the blue kind of um, point means you can rotate it and you can work out the area of that rectangle. Mm. So you're just by looking at the squares. So what's the area of the rectangle? Six squares? Six, six squares, I agree yeah. with six, yes. And so to be able to see this properly, you, you can zoom up and down, but it just looks a bit weird. But if you kind of do it again on its side, you can then mm. start to see that if you to kind of take the height up by two, it becomes uh, 12, the volume is 12, so you times by the, the, the depth yeah. again, or the height yeah. again, yeah? And much larger, you can play around with that, and again, the same with that um, other rectangle, and see the relationship 
with the height and the, vo uh, the height in the area is the same, and mm -hmm. you can do the same with the triangle. Mm -hmm. So I just thought it was a really nice way of like bringing it a bit to life and being able to play around with, you know, a dynamic bit of resource which kind of makes this a much easier thing to comprehend. Yeah, very fun. Mm. I'm a fan. <laughs> Been around this for hours. <laughs> 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 What's your? Where could can you get the volumes to be the same? That's a challenge, Ooh, guys. A challenge. What what volume are we aiming for? Oh. Or just any anything that's the same? Yeah. Anything well, that's the what same. I'll do is I think I'll let you play around with this and we'll leave now. <laughs> <laughs>